It's New Bird Thursday! Woo! And it's Christmas time. You can tell by the hat. Yeah, Steve, yeah. Steve's wearing a Christmas hat again. Again. Yeah. When will that wear off? Never. It, it's been a with, year. With, with your little diddly bob. I'm just wondering, this is what I think. When, when will the... Oh, when will my excitement for Christmas end? Yes. I don't know, I'll give it a couple more years. Oh, great. Eventually, so, I put like, Christmas it's just a horrible tonight, commercial so. What if we just let you wear the hat randomly throughout the year? Then it wears off. Well, we could film. Year. We could film like five episodes tonight, and then you could just randomly throughout the year Release play them. them. Whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's Christmas time. No one's coming. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what beer, uh, what beer uh, we are doing a beer uh, from my man's town, mm. St. Louis. Uh, this is from Perennial Brewing Company. Uh, also, a good friend of ours there, Jonathan Moxie who is actually responsible for getting us this beer. Thank you, brother. And uh, so this is an Imperial Russian stout with, that is brewed with uh, ancho chilies, cocoa nibs, and cinnamon sticks. Mm -hmm. It's wow. called Abraxas. Abraxas. Um, and there are, is it Abraxas with sump coffee as well? Yeah, there's the coffee Abraxas. This beer has been getting a lot of noise online This is lately, not the coffee so. Abraxas. This is not this the coffee. Not the coffee. This, this, is, no. this is just the standard, but I am still very excited to be trying it. And I think Jonathan's a longtime fan of the show, too. Thanks, John. Mmm. Got some sweet chocolate. Yeah. Kind of toffiness. The chilies throw just that little bit of hint of. Just a dash, yeah, yeah, for sure. On the aroma. Yeah, it just smells nice and smooth. Yeah, you know, a, lo you know a lot of smells mm -hmm. smooth. Yeah. 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 It's it's not oh, overly it sweet or overly it's... roasty smelling. It just has that thing that makes it smell like it's gonna be smooth. This is a powerful beer when you put it in your mouth. Like it's just it attacks you. And you weren't says, getting wow. Here is all the flavor all oh, at once. Fuck me, that's good. Wow. This is Yeah, a lot of things are happening. Mm -hmm. it, it 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 tastes like chocolate cake. It does. <laughs> it yeah. really does. It's got oh. a little bit of that like ancho spice. Like that just ancho a, just thing a is in the back. I think it hits right. your throat more than anything else. It's yeah. not a flavor thing, it's more of the heat mm -hmm. thing. But, but yeah. it's it's got it's 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 interesting because the, the malt character has like a sort of like bready like kind of character to it you know where it mm -hmm. it, it, ha it gives it that cakey kind of vibe where you've got that cinnamon you've got the cocoa but then it also has that nice bready malt character to it a little bit of roast that's when lovely. you take a second yeah. a second drink of it it really just kind of comes together too. wow dude this it, is I awesome. think what you're saying it, it does shock your palate when you take your initial sip but after the second one, it's just well, and this is yeah. oh, this is definitely a beer that you enjoy over the the course of like an yeah, hour. Yeah, I'm getting off on it. What about it? <laughs> Calm down. What were you saying? Um, <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Put it away. Um, no, this is definitely a beer swing. that you you drink over the course of an evening. Like, yeah, this is not a I'm gonna swig it and polish off the bottle kind of beer. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have difficulty with that because I just want more of it in my mouth. Yeah, it's 10 percent alcohol. Uh, very tasty, very yeah. deceptively it's, smooth. And Perennial, as well as Forehands and a few of the other breweries that are popping mm -hmm. up over there, Sh you know, Shafley's so. been around for a while. Um, yeah. But they're, they've really exploded over the last couple of years. And I think a big part of that is be, um, there was a, there's a huge blowback in the St. Louis community because of Budweiser going to Belgium. Yeah. And them not being an American-owned company anymore. And people are like, fuck your beer then. And so, because of that, they w were looking for alternatives, and like a lot of the former Budweiser employees went out and started their own breweries and are creating these like well, it makes really sense, cool. You, know? yeah. well, like, you, you, you probably learn a, a ton of information working for mm -hmm. Anheuser Busch. Well, I so mean, hell, why not? Mitch, Mitch, yeah. Mitch, Mitch is the the primary example, and there've been a bunch of other things like that. Like I remember. Um, uh, just recently, Founders put out um, a big thing because I guess I, I think it might have been like a Miller plant or something like that closed down. Right. And so Founders put out an open letter saying, "Hey, you're all experienced brewers. Why don't you come work for a craft brewery? Right. Make something you can be proud of." You know. And so it's it's a great thing when you can get all that experience and then use it for something. Not. But evil. as far as uh, Missouri goes, you know, I'm, I'm sure before. Uh, Anheuser Busch even went to Belgium or was sold to a, a Belgian company. Um, that was just a good beer town, you know. It's got to be right. Yeah, it's it's where Anheuser Busch is from. Just like yeah, but I, I you, know, would, you, go I to, would... you go to Colorado and you know there's Golden and Coors is there, and then there's I think all it would be really breweries, hard you know? to like get into the market in that kind of an environment though, because not only do you have people that are just so maddeningly 
loyal to Budweiser. You have Budweiser just squashing you. Well, these are all assumptions. <laughs> well, I'm, <laughs> you know? I'm making the assumption that it's good beer town. You're making right. the assumption that it's not a good beer town for well, that. But then, so. but, but then again, I mean, you know, you look at other like big beer areas, and you know, th I think that the, the people's connection to those breweries has waned over mm -hmm. the past couple of decades. I mean, look at Milwaukee. You know, right? I mean, no, right. no. I, I, I would. You, I, I don't know from personal experience, but I think you would be kind of hard pressed to find someone in Milwaukee who is very personally attached to any of the breweries that are there. Because I mean, they've been gone a long time ago. Well, and, and I, mean, I think too is a lot of it from what I saw while I was over there too is just the, like Schlafly, Schlafly. Schlafly. Schlafly's been around for a long time. I mean, they're not new. Since like the 90s. Right? Yeah, so yeah. I mean, and they're doing some really, really interesting stuff. But they've, they've stepped up their game in the last few years as well. And I think they're trying, now they're seeing this like new breed of competition coming in. But there's been like four or five brand new breweries in the last year or two yeah, in man. St. Louis. And they're just doing mm -hmm. some like really phenomenal stuff. It's well, not like four, four the hands, typical, four hands, yeah, it's not like the typical guys. breweries that open up in the first year. Everything's kind of meh and you're like, yeah, guys, that's cool. Dial in your stuff. Yeah. Like, they come, these, they're, they're coming out, out of the yeah. gate. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. coming out swinging, and they're, well, they're swinging as, really as good far stuff. As this this beer goes, like, um, I don't believe I've had a lot of perennial ales. Uh, it's perennial ales? That's the name of their place? Perennial, perennial Artisan Ales, I perennial, Yeah, yeah. Perennial, perennial Ales. Um, but perennial Artisan Ales. This might be my first. Uh, I'd have to check. No, I think, yeah, I, th I, think, I think Cad brought a couple back the last time he was out. All right, um, well... Uh, in any case, this is excellent. I mean, that mm -hmm. whole chocolate cake thing we're getting on the aroma, it's like a rich chocolate rich cake. Rich chocolate cake, yeah. And you know, it's like oh, a chocolate mother node. You almost get like a, a even like a saltiness on it, I think, from <laughs> it. It's salty loads. I don't know if that was something that Jonathan added for us especially. <laughs> but, uh, no, um, no I, I, could, I, could, I could see almost like a saltiness happening. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, there's just so like. much deep, dark, rich chocolate in this, and it's just, I, it really plays well off the subtlety of the chilies. The cinnamon sticks are giving it that n nice little added pop like at the end. Spicy. Yeah, it's yeah. gotta be like, something that's really subtle because I really don't get a whole lot of cinnamon. But when you put cinnamon in a beer with chili, mm. or chilies, mm -hmm. I should say, not chili, that'd be gross. Um, it, it, they kind weird. of blend together well, because cinnamon's spicy and chilies are right. spicy heat. And, yeah, and that's you know, the thing. It's it's, it's nice a complimentary because, thing. Yeah, it has like a this really interesting kind of overarching like spice character to it that really like complements the chocolate character really well. I, this is okay. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, this yeah. is wonderful. So I, I, one thing that I have to say is like I said, there's been a lot of hype going on um, around this beer, and sometimes it's justified and sometimes it's not. It definitely is with this. This yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely one of the best um, big stouts that I've had in a really Well, and I'm, I'm really, really, really impressed with the, the, the scene that's cropping up in St. Louis right now. So, mm -hmm. I mean, if you're in the area, you know, Four Hands, Perennial, both amazing breweries. Urban Chestnut is doing some really cool German-style yeah, beers. there's a lot of really good things about um, that. What's the other one we went to? Uh, the uh, other one. Alpha something or other. Um, Alpha Supreme? No. Yeah, it's Alpha something the other. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's lame, but I didn't do any research. That's actually time, a real brewery name. It's no, Alpha it's something or well, other. Well, I mean, I they're kind of, they're a little bit controversial because um, apparently the guy that owns it has created some issues and so whatever. But I we tried them out. Their beers were pretty good. Um, the bartender had a, a B&R army. Um, tattoo? Grenade. Tattoo. Uh, yeah. An actual tattoo? An actual tattoo. And I was like, wow. I said vacation. Yeah. When I was in my band, <laughs> better luck next time, there was ta like pictures that came up like from the interwebs of tattoos, actually of logos that I made. Mm -hmm. I like, wow. How would you put that on your body? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I, I would like to point out I was that... I proud of my band, but it was like, I would not, never put that on my body. I would, I would like to point out that I have a Nuber Thursday tattoo logo. You logo do. tattooed on me, but, but it, it is it our have, show. It doesn't have our like, names. That's what I'm saying. If, if something came out, it belongs to us. Our names are not on it. No, no you they, never they tattoo a man's name they on there. Fit. You never. No, you never tattoo a um, person's name on your body. No, but I'm just saying to, to have a podcast's logo tattooed. A podcast. That's just yeah, insane. It was a little yeah. weird, but I, I was see, like, I can oh, see a band. Cool. I mean, it looked. It was a cool looking tattoo. I'll give him credit. It was a cool looking tattoo. But I was just like, wow, that's. That's a dedication. lot of dedication there. I wonder if Riggs Benarmi has one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I didn't, fuck you. Anyway, we gotta go. Stay, fit, stay safe. Stay drink safe beer. and drink beer. And Cheers. Uh, drink for now. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> that works. <laughs> <laughs>